Hello, friends. I'm going to present to you today one experiment that I was doing very well with the dragon fruit. I, as can, you can see it now, this is a cactus that grows in the deserts of Mexico, Arizona, and everything. They don't need water. They need, they grow in the desert, so they produce fruit. And what I did is, you can see the cactus in here was growing, and then I cut the cactus over here. As you can see, <coughs> over here, and I grafted. Can you see the grafting here? I graft the dragon fruit into the cactus. Le was little one like this, almost uh, <coughs> three inches tall. And then now, this was a dragon fruit Guatemala too. I grafted in this cactus. Remember, look at the cactus with thorns, everything, and they don't need water. And I grafted over here, and look how successful after one year the dragon fruit is growing in the cactus. So, very good. And then now, today, look, I have a beautiful flower. So my question will be, how this flower is going to be, how the fruit is going to be, if the fruit is going to change or not. Normally, don't supposed to change, but sometimes by a miracle or something, sometimes will change. But my main point to showing to you guys this graft is nowadays in Mexico or any person that has a cactus, they can graft dragon fruit on top. And then they don't need to put a, a frame or a cement post to support the plant. They can, the, the whole plant itself is so strong that will support the, the dragon fruit and the dragon fruit will hang like that. So you don't have to put support. And the most important thing is this particular uh, cactus don't need water. So and now that is very good that will keep alive the dragon fruit in the deserts growing. And the only problem will be, and now to find out, how this particular dragon fruit, which too much heat in the deserts, will survive or will die. You know, normally the dragon fruit don't like too much sun, too much heat. So it's something to see. It. That's why I, I, this is an experiment that I did it so and now we'll see how the fruit comes and how far the project will go. But I am very happy with this result. Look how beautiful it is. It's amazing. The, the, the graft over here, can you see the graft in here? There is the cactus and here is the dragon fruit. Took so well and is now it's keeping this dragon fruit alive for almost one year. And now we have the first flower. As I mentioned to you, today is October the 14th, and today is 3 o'clock in the afternoon that I'm making this little uh, film about this grafting of the cactus. Okay, I just want to present, and look the more cactus I have in here. Actually, this is the original cactus. I cut one of these branches and I, I put it in a pot, root it, and then I grafted the other one. You see, and I have so many different types of cactus in here. So the cactus produces a very good fruit too. The problem is that the fruit is small and has too many thorns. And that is very difficult for, my, for me because I have a grandchildren that they might get hurt, so I try to stay away of these cactus. But cactus, they don't need water, and they produce good fruit. So you can grow cactus too, and if you like that particular fruit, you can grow it, and and then you can graft your dragon fruit in that particular cactus, and then you will have cactus and dragon fruit producing. Okay, hope so you like this little scene, and take care of yourself.
My name is Ed Valdivia. I am from Simi Valley, showing to you the new graft that I did it into cactus. I grafted dragon fruit successfully. Thank you so much.